And we turn now to a major medical story making headlines. San Antonio Spurs superstar Victor Wembanyama is expected to miss the rest of the season due to a diagnosis of deep vein thrombosis in his shoulder. Yeah, and Dr. Darian, break this down for us. First of all, what is deep vein thrombosis? This is, uh, you know, th these moments are really helpful to help everyone understand. It's something more common than people can imagine. And I commonly talk about this with my patients. So a DVT or a deep vein thrombosis in simple form is just a blood clot. Here we have a normal vein over here. You can see blood, red, red blood cells flowing through it. You can even see valves on that side. And that's what you have in your veins to prevent reflux. On the other side, you can see the development of a blood clot, and that often happens from something what we call venous stasis, which is when blood sits in a place too long when it should naturally be flowing, increasing your risk of a blood clot. And then in dangerous situ situations, that blood clot can embolize or travel to other parts of the body, and that is what we're trying to prevent. And now, reportedly, the Spurs medical staff was concerned about Wembenyama's low energy levels. That sort of set off some alarm bells for them to run some tests, which is how they ultimately found this condition. But what are some of these symptoms yeah. of DVT? Well, low energy levels probably led to a formal workup, evaluation, and physical exam. The most common symptoms associated with a DVT or a blood clot include pain, swelling, redness of one affected limb. Now, we know that he's had the DVT in his arm. That's about 10% of cases of total DVTs, the majority of my DVTs that I diagnose are in the legs. And so it's about how you prevent that and also knowing your risk. And when, at what point should you go to the doctor? Yeah, so number one, if you've got pain, swelling, redness, or discomfort in one limb, that could be your leg or your arm, that's a red flag. You should get that evaluated as soon as possible and know your risk. If you've had long travel, longer than five hours, if you've been prolonged in one space and not moving around, if you recently broken a leg or broken an arm and you haven't been moving much, that also increases your risk. And then there are some conditions metabolically that increase our risk of developing a blood clot. Pregnancy, for example, the use of hormones for hormone replacement therapy or gender affirming treatment, or even just uh, um, uh, 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 inflammatory conditions that can increase your risk of developing a blood clot. Now, this just so happens to have occurred in an NBA All-Star who everyone knows and roots for, but this can happen to anyone. So what, what can people do to prevent or minimize having this happen to them. You're absolutely right. It can happen to anyone, so it's about how we reduce our risk. We're going to reduce the risk of provoked blood clots. That's the blood clot that can happen from just general activity. You want to make sure, number one, that you are traveling safely. Uh, what does that mean? When you're on a long trip, getting up and moving every hour, stretching your feet. Uh, one thing that I love to do is, for example, just really good heel stretches. Uh, while you're sitting in that seat, in that cabin, uh, press your toes to the ground, lift your heels up, and then switch. Lift your, uh, press your heels to the ground, lift your toes up. Uh, that can pump your calves and increase blood flow, circulation, reduce your risk. Also, stay hydrated. Dehydration is one of the risk factors that can lead to an increased risk of a blood clot. You want to keep those veins full, happy, and open. Of course, you want to do things like stop smoking, physical activity, checking your blood pressure. These are all important things that you want to do to reduce your risk of developing a blood clot. I would imagine that Wembenyama checks every one of those mm -hmm. items off the list. He's moving. He probably doesn't smoke, but it can happen to anyone. It can. And we appreciate you educating on this, Dr. Darian.